All right, what is going on everybody? Pretender here and I'm back with another Honkai Star Guide and today I'm going to be helping you choose what you should be doing with your expeditions so they potentially help you. And by expeditions, I do mean assignments. So uh, how they work is pretty much you will set a total of two characters to come back after a certain amount of time, pretty much just sending them on an expedition. And after the specified amount of time you set them to go for, they will come back with some materials and there are bonus characters that can give you even more materials. So a lot of people surprisingly still don't really know what to do with it, they just kind of send it off. So today I'm going to be assisting and helping for you to choose how you potentially could use it to your advantage. So before I get into the video, if you guys could drop a sub real quick, it would be greatly appreciated trying to hit 1k. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Alright, so in the assignments tab you see there are character materials, XP materials, slash credits, and synthesis materials. And so, starting off, you can see there are a bunch of different ones here. So, you're gonna obviously, just starting off, I'm gonna say ignore synthesis materials. You are not gonna wanna waste these on these. Because consumables, as they can be really good and all, you're not really gonna bother with them. And you get a bunch of these by just like, doing everything anyways. Same can be said with these, but these you wanna stack up more on because they're gonna be a lot more beneficial to your account going forward. And so, as I was mentioning, that it depends on person to person, and it is very vastly different depending on what you need. So, the way you want to do this, as you see, I have set up here, everyone is just bonus characters. And so, what you want to do is find one of these materials that you are low on or that you need, or a character that you are potentially saving for that might need some and you might be low, and you're going to see which one you have the lowest one on. I haven't updated mine in a bit myself, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that just so I'm safe for the future. And when you find the one you need, obviously, so I need this one, so I'm going to eventually change these. And I'm going to put it on there. I need more of these, so you can change it on here. And obviously, again, as I said, you get these materials from enemy drops, just a lot of things to give it. And so, pretty much you're going to be wanting to get these because, as I go here to a character that needs to be leveled, or actually I have another one right here, let's go with Hanya, uh, you do definitely need a lot of these not just for leveling but for traces as well and since you have so many of these you can easily just go ahead to the material synthesis here and you can slide this up and get a bunch and then you can use those to get the higher rarity this is the easiest way to get it because farming these on their own is going to be kind of a pain so the easiest way is to stock up a bunch on the first rarity and then rank it up because that's how usually it's going to be going as an end game player that's usually how it goes if i ever get low on one of the blue or purple ones just go to the green ones and slide it up. As you see, you might not need a bunch for ascension, but the more you do traces, every trace level will need this. As you see, my hottie is very low, so should be using the green ones. As you see, someone, like my March 7th here, she needs blue drops here, so that will definitely be something I'll need to get more of, because eventually when I need more preservation characters, this is going to run out. And then once you get to a certain amount, eventually, you're going to need these purple ones, which again, the higher you get, the more it's going to take, and eventually it costs a lot of purple ones that you're going to run out. So you definitely want to stock up on the lowest rarity character materials. And what best way to do that is with these assignments, because you can... I'm going to go ahead and actually recall these ones. And let's go over to these ones, since I need them. As you see, you can set 4 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours, and 20 hours. I always recommend doing 20, and I always recommend doing additional characters. And if you're newer, you might not have them, so that's fine. You can just start off doing them regularly. But I definitely recommend going to 20 hours, so you can kind of put it. And when you come back for your dailies, you'll just remember to claim it and send them out again. So I'm going to go ahead and set these guys out and let them go. That's 20 hours. Once the reset comes back, I'll go ahead and make sure I reset these. So, if you are, say... Good on these, you can do like three of these. As you see, I'm doing three of these, and the other ones I'm doing are for books. Because these books might not look like a lot. You're getting only 20 of this low rarity one for 20 hours, but again, you're pretty much AFK getting these. So if you look at it in the long run, say if you're saving for a long time or you don't have to level up a character for a long time, this is going to add up tremendously and help you out a lot in the future. Again, might be slow. But this mechanic is here for that reason. It's not meant to be quickly. You're meant to get it over time. So by doing it over time, you'll get a bunch more. And so another really good one that I see a lot of people do is credits. Tons of people are low on credits. It's just like Mora and Genshin. You run out, it's credit hell. So another way you can get more is by choosing the credit one. Again, as I said, you won't get much. You get a total of 13,000 if you have both additional characters. And... 
Again, you only get 13,000 every 20 hours, so pretty much 13,000 every day or so. And yeah, again, as I mentioned, it won't be fast, but imagine as you're accumulating it over time. The longer you accumulate, the more you'll have. And as a lot of people have been playing for a while, if you guys have been doing this from the start, you probably, and just by playing the game, you already have a ton of these. But because of expedi or these expeditions slash assignments, you are gaining even more just steadily. So this is a very just steady pace just to help you more and more in the future and it can come in clutch in the future. It could be very good because again, as I said, you are accumulating them. So the longer the time goes on, the more you'll get from this. And say if you are farming one of these or you're doing one of these, say you're going to do this one for the Harmony. And since characters do come out, but let's say they're not Harmony. So let's say you don't get a new Harmony character for a while. Say they're maybe a part of the hunt or like destruction or something. So you'll be using a bunch of the other ones, which you might have already said too, but you're going to be accumulating more of these ones. And once time comes, obviously you get most of these rare materials by just playing the game, fighting enemies, doing stuff like that. They'll give you more overall because again, this is a very AFK slash steady, slow pace to earn these, but you still be gaining some. So once time comes, you probably gained a good chunk of these. So I do really hope you guys got a general idea on how to be using these as a, it's not anything like rocket science. It's very obvious. You just look at what your account needs, what you think you'll need for the future, and you go ahead and put that up and boom, for 20 hours, you don't gotta worry about it. Come back when you do your dailies and you'll just set them again and again and again, and that's how it is. So that has been the video. Thank you all for watching. And again, I really hope you guys have learned something from this. Stay tuned for more Star Wars guides coming in the future and see you guys next time. Peace out.